What's up guys, Corvison85 here and welcome back to Pokemon Blue, episode number two. So in the last episode, we caught a Spearow and a Nidoran female and I'm gonna go heal them. So I'll show you them quickly first. I'm still getting used to the controls a bit. So we have Ruby, if we go to stats, you can see there's our Bulbasaur, level seven. We have Cotton, the Nidoran female, a level three. And we have Lindbergh, the Spiro, level five. So Lindbergh looks like power at the minute, I have to say. The fact that we don't have running shoes is incredibly annoying. But yeah, on this episode, we are hopefully going to do a bit of training. We're going to get into the battle with Gary and we're going to head off through the Viridian Forest. So yeah, I, I, I don't think I'll show the training guys, but I'm going to try and grind everyone up to about level 8, level 9-ish. So I will see you then. Okay guys, so welcome back. Team recap. We have the entire team up to level 8. Got Lindbergh out front. He was the last one to be trained. Level 8, 17 attack stat, 18 speed, very nice. With Peck and Growl still. We've got Ruby, our starter, our Bulbasaur, 14, 13, 15, 18. Pretty good special stat there. Tackle, Growl, Leech Seed. Currently, and I believe the only one to learn a new move was Cotton, the Nidoran female, 13, 14, 13, 13. Very well rounded, but not any standard stat. With Tackle, Growl, and Scratch. So, yeah, let's get underway. So, I believe Gary's going to have a Rattata and a Charmander. I could be wrong in that regard, he could have a Spearow, but I believe he's going to have a Rattata. Can't remember. Let's have a look. Okay, let's, after this battle, have a look. There's a Rattata. There's a lot of Rattata on this route. You don't realise how many there is. Okay. So here comes Gary. Corvus, you're going to Pokemon League? Forget it, you probably don't even have any badges. The fact that badge was capitalized apart from the S really annoyed me there. The guard won't let you through. Yeah, because he didn't let you through. By the way, did your Pokemon get any stronger? Let's battle and find out. Gary wants to fight. Oh, he has a Pidgey. We can't have any flying moves at this point. I don't think it gets Peck. In case we switch out, let's Leech Seed to start off here. He's going to go for Gust. Oh, did a lot of damage. Eight damage. That's a lot. With how much defense Ruby has. Oh, not this. Gary. Gary. I'm so glad I went for Leech Seed now. That's doing so much damage. Tackle. Wow, that did so little. Um, let's go out into Cotton. I wasn't having much trouble at all with the wild Pokemon, and they were only like level 5. But this pitch is very strong. Let's go for Scratch. There we go, that's a decent amount of damage. So 
Scratch misses, of course. Eight damage is a lot to be taken when I can't damage him back. Come on! I know he's decreased my accuracy. I should be able to hit one attack. Hopefully his Charmander is less annoying than this. I do have a plan for the Char- I actually hit that scratch. I do have a plan for the Charmander. I'm gonna use Spew to take it out. Goes to the Gust. He gets a crit, takes me down to 2. He goes down to 1 HP there. We miss our scratch, which means we're going to have to go for a... Switch out into Bulbasaur, that's what we're going to have to do. Switch out into Ruby. Plus the sand attack and he's going to go down here. Two of the leech seed damage. Very good. I do use Charmander. Yes, I will change Pokemon. Let's go for Lindbergh. So his Pidgey was actually a higher level than his Charmander, which seems a bit weird. Goes for the Growl. Wow, that second peck did no damage at all. Yeah, that one did. I was worried he was going to have Ember, but apparently he doesn't get it at this point. And final pack, take out the Charmander, and Gary has been defeated. Very nice. Oh, you just looked out. I don't know why his voice changes every time. I hear Pokemon League has many top trainers. I have to figure out how to get past them. You should quit dawdling and get a move on. You were the one talking to me. Okay, so we're going to heal up, and then we're going to set off for Viridian Forest. Okidly dokily. This would be a lot faster if I had running shoes. I mean, even if I was playing Fire Red and Leaf Green, I still wouldn't have running shoes at this point, because you don't get them until after you beat the first gym, which is a ridiculous decision. Okay, let's head off. Up past the old man who's had his coffee now. And on to Route 2. Viridian City to Peter City. This is super nostalgic for me and I didn't play these games until like four or five years after I found a Pokemon. Okay, so there's a Rattata here. Don't really care for it. Just gonna run. There is one Pokemon I want to get in Viridian Forest. Let's talk with this girl. I believe she gives you something. Okay, she doesn't. I, that must be in the Johto games. She gives you a TM, I believe. You give me... Nothing, but there's an antidote here. Yes. So yeah, I still remember these things. There should be an item here, I think. Oh, it's at the top, isn't it? Kakuna is not the Pokemon I'm looking for. Although this is a good experience, Pokemon. Let's go for the Leech Seed. Since that's about to happen. Oh, why did I growl? Why did I growl? Why? Why? It's just gonna make this ball take forever, and I don't have a speed of key. <laughs> Tackle him to death. How? Why did I miss? He's now got plus three defense. 
Wow, critical hit. That's exactly what I needed there. Is that plus four now? This is gonna do like one damage. That did a decent amount. Plus five. This should kill. It does, very nice. Get 40 experience. You get 10 per level on Metapod and Kakuna, I believe. Alright, let's go up here. This should be, it's like a Paralyze Heal or a Pokeball. It's a Pokeball. There's actually two Pokemon I'd like to get in this forest, but I'd be happy with just the more common one. That would be fine with me. Yes, I know, I know, I know, I know. Okay, no item there. I think we must have added extra items in the more recent games. Okay, Metapod. Now, as great as you are, I kind of don't want you. I prefer a Caterpie. So, there's one of the Pokemon I want. Because Butterfree is one of my favourite Pokemon in general in Kanto, but it's also one of my favourite Pokemon to use in game, especially in the early stages. Confusion is amazing, this, particularly in first generation. But I used to, in yellow version, because Pikachu couldn't defeat Brock, I'd just bring along but for it, because none of it, neither his Geodude or his Onyx have rock type moves. They do have Bind, which is Bind broken in this generation. Because it's not Bind where you store energy, it's Bind which traps your opponent, which I believe is all trap moves broken. Okay, so let's. Battle this guy. If someone gets to level 10, then I'll swap them out so they can't keep leveling up. Level 6 Weedle, that's pretty threatening actually. Poison Sting, please don't get poisoned. I think Poison Sting has like a 30% chance in this generation to poison. It seems like, at least, it seems like it has a 50% chance most of the time. Gets a crit. Crits are also a lot more common. Because they're based on speed, I believe. And it just means that you get one like every battle. Well, I think Lindbergh's going to get a lot of playtime in this forest. So we'll go with Cotton for this easy ball against the canopy. Let's go for Scratch. Let's actually swap Scratch with Growl and then tackle with Scratch. So that was a crit. That didn't do much. So theoretically, if tackles the same amount of damage as Scratch, then it should kill. It might miss, but it should kill. Okay, so Scratch is more powerful in this generation. I believe in current generation, they're both base 40 with 100 accuracy. Although, Tackle might be base 50 now. Cotton got to level 9, very nice. Defeated Bugcatcher. Caterpie cannot cut it. Well, hopefully it can for me. Alright, so Lindbergh's gonna go at the front. And we're gonna walk through the grass, see if we can find a Caterpie. We didn't find one, unfortunately. We found a trainer. Now a book catcher. Sends out a Weedle level 7 this time. I'm guessing it's his only Pokemon. Go for the peck. Do over half. It's over three quarters actually. 
We should still have speed. Okay, we don't. Only one down, but... Only at minus one speed, but we're still very spared by a Weedle. Okay, he has three Pokemon. How did the other guy... Uh, what? No, don't switch. Limpberg needs experience. I suppose he has Kakuna. Which isn't really a threat. In the slightest. Although it is level 7, so it could have evolved from a Weedle. Then Bert got to level 9, very nice. Then Leah. Not that nice. Has another Weedle, level 7, I guess. Yep. Let's just get through this battle nice and quickly. Take out the Weedle with a crit. Very nice. And we have to feed another Bookcatcher. Run out of Pokemon. That's how Pokemon works, my friend. Is there no trainer up here? Is there a trainer here? No. They've l removed quite a few trainers. Or, oh, they added quite a few trainers in later generations. Come on, if I can make a Caterpie. I'm just not running into anything. Which is weird for Viridian Forest. You often run into a lot of stuff. There used to be a trainer here with like all metapods. Oh, I remember there being a trainer there. What is going on? Why am I not running into Pokemon? Potion, very nice. Trainer, battle me. Okay, now that book catcher level 10, level 9 Weedle. Come on, Lindberg, you can easily kill this Weedle. There's three quarters damage, he goes for a string shot, he will outspeed, which means he can get a poison sting off. We fortunately have about five antidotes at this point. He doesn't even get the poison, and the peck takes him out. So yeah, so we have actually completed Viridian Forest, we just need to find a Caterpie. Okay, so Lindberg is now level 10. We can swap him out with Cotton. And yeah, I want to find a Caterpie before the end of the video. Okay, I'm on. I'm just not running into any Pokemon at all. I'm going to leave the forest and then come back. Hopefully I'll run into Pokemon this time. Find me Pokemon! Why is the encounter rate so low? This is ridiculous. Right. Well, there we go. Please be a copy. <gasps> You were the other Pokemon I wanted! Pikachu! I choose you! Right, let's get off a tackle. Does it over half, very nice. Goes for the Thunder Shock, gets 3 damage off on us. Let's go for the Pokeball, we have 9. Go on, Pikachu, get in the Pokeball. And we caught a Pikachu! Very nice! Now there's only one name I can give a Pikachu. When several of these Pokemon gather together, or when several of these Pokemon gather, it's one foot four, 13 pounds. Their electricity could build and cause lightning storms. Pikachu the mouse Pokemon, number 25. Mascot of the Pokemon universe. And there's only one name I can give to Pikachu. It's the nickname I gave my Pikachu friend in Mystery Dungeon, and that is Faraday. No, Faraday. So, there we go. We've got Faraday the Pikachu now. That's one of the Pokemon I wanted. I didn't think I'd find one, because I believe it's like a 1% chance, 1% encounter rate. Not a Weedle, although. I like that you're trying now. Actually, give me encounters. 
Right, so on the next episode, guys, because this is going to be the end of this, we found a Pikachu, which is a bit of a surprise. He has a Caterpie. We'll catch this Caterpie. So let's scratch. And hopefully, we can chip a Pokeball and catch this Caterpie. Kind of pay? How dare you escape? I'm not supposed to be able to do that. You have a really low catch rate. Or really high catch rate, I suppose. Right, Kabe was caught. Kabe, the worm Pokemon, one foot tall, six pounds. Its short feet are tipped with suction pads that enable it to tirelessly climb slopes and walls. Now this knitting doesn't really suit Caterpie, but it will suit Butterfree, and that is Amethyst. Where's D? Amethyst. Is that correct? It looks correct. Okay, so we now have five Pokemon in our team. And on the next episode, or between this episode and the next episode, I'll try and get everyone up to level 10. If you've enjoyed the episode, guys, drop a like on the video. Tell me what Pokemon you use, usually, to beat the first gym in Pokemon Red and Blue. And from me, Corvus95, hit that subscribe button. Really helps the channel out. Make sure, you, if you want to see more videos like this, you hit that subscribe button. For me, Call of Thank you guys for watching, and goodbye.